Welcome to episode 6 of my Man Bun Monthly series. In today's video, we're going to be doing a messy Man Bun tutorial. So if that's something you've been waiting for for a long time, keep watching. Da -da -da -da! So welcome back guys, and yes, we are finally here for episode 6. This is so exciting. The Man Bun Monthly series has been my favourite thing to film lately. In the topic request section, the Messy Man Bun has been a very largely requested one, so that's what I'm giving you today. But if you're joining me here for the first time, I have done five other episodes already for this Man Bun Monthly series, and if you haven't caught up to speed, make sure you go back and watch all of those videos. I'll put a card up to like the actual playlist for you, but uh, if you're joining now, keep watching because we're going to do a Messy Man Bun tutorial okay so when it comes to the messy man bun like there is an art to it but there's not like you don't have to be too particular with it it's seriously it's a messy man bun so you can afford for it to be messy and the cool thing is with a messy man bun it turns out different looking every single time you just have to kind of know whereabouts you like it on your head and yeah where you want to put it there are lots of other tutorials out there for doing a messy man bun where people literally they just go three two one tied up and off we go but I don't actually like, I don't, I don't think those man bun tutorials are very cool and I think you still can like achieve a messy look um, with tact. So that's why I'm going to be showing you how I do mine today. And we've got a few cool things to show. So a while ago I spoke to El Rubio from The Long Hairs and I reached out and I just said, Hey man, uh, I really like the look of your hair ties and I would love to like get my hands on some and try them. And to begin with, when I got them in my hands, I was like, oh, they may be a little bit too thick. Like... I, d I just didn't like it compared to the normal hair ties that I have. And in the last couple of months, I must say, I've gone, you know what, let's just try them out and see how they go. And I'm actually a massive fan of them. Now, I was already a fan of like the patterns that they put on there. The long hairs are pretty cool. They've um, put together their hair ties for guys and they've got all of these different prints. And the elasticity in them is quite good. The prints are really funky that they've created themselves and they've also incorporated their own little logo. Something like this would be really cool for you guys, I think, if I was to make something like it, but maybe that can happen in the future, who knows. So uh, in total, all you're gonna need is a hair tie. You're also gonna need some bobby pins. And if you have hair remotely like mine, I would suggest putting like maybe a curl definer or a, uh, a sea salt spray or something like that in your hair beforehand, just to give it a bit more texture and a little bit more like zhuzh, because when we tie this up, we want it to look messy and we want it to look good. I don't want my hair being frizzy and all like <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have a little bit of frizz today, but for the most part, I've put like a curl definer, like a hint of curl definer, I've used my leaving creams, da da da, and I'm liking how it's looking. So yeah, let's get into it, enough chit chat. So the first thing I would say with this man bun is, uh, just get your positioning right, know where you like to wear your bun. Do you like to wear it at the back of your head? Do you like to wear it high? Where do you like to wear it? Uh, I've found the best position for me to wear a messy man bun is this weird little spot on the left side of my head, around about here. So if I can get the bun to roughly sit about there and then do all my other hair pieces around it, it usually looks quite cool for me. So that's where I'm gonna be doing mine today. And the art of it is to make this part look somewhat nice and primp. So this, this part always needs to look neat, but it's about the element of sag <laughs> that you add into the back. Uh, that sounds a little bit like untasteful, but I'll show you what I mean in just a minute, okay? So we're gonna grab one of our hair ties. We're gonna go for this um, one with bazooka missiles on it. And then I'm gonna start prepping my hair. So like I just told you as well, I'd like to reduce mess here, make more mess at the back and up here. That's my goal. So I'll start grouping my hair. Oh my God, you can see my sweat patches in this shirt. That's so gross. Surprise, I'm human. <laughs> Group it up like that. I've got my little spot, which where I was just saying is like here. <laughs> can you see that? And then once I've grabbed it all there, I want to make sure I don't touch this and I just loosen the back a little bit. Because remember, I want that element of sag. And now I'm going to grab my hair tie. And you might have to do this a bazillion times as well, mind you. This doesn't always turn out right the first time. You've just got to like play around with it until you're happy. So we're going to put him on my general spot. Then I'm going to do a twist and go back over like that. So I've got my nice flat top here and then I'm gonna just to pull the sides out a little bit to give me more of that sag. Can you see the sag in the side here? Like it's almost like wobbly and I'll pull a little bit there. Primp here, sag here. <laughs> we got that? <laughs> and then with the bun, so if you look at it like this, it kind of protrudes off my head. I'm not really happy with that look. I don't like 
hair tie and then big ball. It kind of looks really stupid to me. So what I like to do is really like get my fingers around in it. And this probably seems a little bit contradictory seeing as like I'm using these gorgeous picturesque hair ties, but I kind of like just cover all the hair and kind of cover the hair tie like this, ready? So hard to coordinate sometimes. Grab it like that, pin him down. Then I'll just like fluff it out a little bit more, pin him down. Okay, then I'll have a look at that. See how we've got all of this here? Like, I just hate how risen that looks. So I'll probably play around with that a bit more. Slot a pin in. And I'll probably do one more on the other side just to be safe. So in total, I've only used four pins right now. And then what I'll do is just ensure I've got the right amount of sag. I can also like, cause it's a messy bun as well, I can like afford to untuck some of the side bits, tuck them behind my ear, it's no big deal. They kind of look cool, a bit flowy. Keep this bit nice and flat. Always do a double mirror check. Nope, see, just, just what I told you. I've uh, positioned everything in place and I'm not actually happy with the shape. What I'm actually not liking about this is I feel like there's probably a little bit too much sag there. So what I'll have to do this is how it happens. Uh, I'll probably undo it and then try, try my best to get it right again. Okay, let's try that again. And this is totally normal to happen as well. Like, you'd think doing a messy man bun could just be like, ah, oh, put it up. And it can be like that, but if you like, want the cool look, it can't be like that, Suzzy. I'm just gonna try everything I showed you again. And we're just gonna retry it. Oh my God, the blue one actually matched my top. How do you like them apples, eh? Okay, let's try this again. Got him on the right spot, just here. Give me some sag. Then, I've actually got all of this mound. This turned out pretty cool. I can do a lot with this. I can actually like twirl it around the bun if I want, but what I'm gonna do first is just do my separation. Pin him in there, really grovel that around. And this hairdo couldn't work without the wobby pins, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion? Fuck, I'm funny. Uh, you know what we'll do with the fourth one? See, this is what I mean. There's no set method. You've just kind of got to play and see if you can get it right. Eventually you get there. Sometimes it can be the second. Sometimes it can be the fourth. Sometimes it can be the 17th, but I'm pretty sure I'm liking what I'm seeing right now, so. And all I'm doing here is grabbing these side bits that are flipping around. I might show you up there. And just twisting them around the bun to just give it more of a wisp. Might need another bobby pin. Oh, I think we got him. There is this one dicky strand hanging out the back though. If in doubt, use a bobby. Do my sides. That's better. Oh, look, and we can still see that, um, the print of the hair tie. I nailed that one. Ta-da! So I've now got it in a shape that I am actually really fond of. Can you see how this is like a messy bun, but there's art to it? So all I would do here is just do a little bit more pulling and tugging to give a little bit more sag to the sides, maybe a couple more wispy hairs around the back here, couldn't hurt me, um, just to give it that more messy zhuzh. And that's literally it. I'm actually super stoked with this one, I like it. Uh, here's a little 360 for you. I might show it up here too, like. I actually love this bun that I did today. I need to put it on my Snapchat, ASAP. Uh, but essentially guys, that, oh, oh my God, the mirror fell just like I didn't want it to. And that is as simple as doing an easy man bun needs to be, right? You can essentially just grab your hair tie, chuck it up and be happy with the look if you like that. Or you can go at it with a bit more tact like I have and still create a messy look that's still got a bit of art to it. <laughs> and I really love the shape. I think it's all in the sag. Again, you don't need to get it perfect the first time. You need to try it as many times as possible until you're happy with it because it is a messy style. It's gonna look different every time. It just depends whether you're happy with the shape and if you're not. All you need is hair ties, all you need is bobby pins, and you're set. And a bit of hair length, of course. Shout out to the, uh, the long hairs for supplying the hair ties. They've got very, very cool prints on these. And I've done a blog post actually on my website about uh, man bun accessories. So 
I might make that a video idea actually. Uh, I've done a blog post about man bun accessories and they feature in there. So if you want to learn more about them or if you want to know about any of the other products I recommend, head to the link in the description box below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my man bun updates. And yeah, make sure you hit the like button if you like this video today, okay? Uh, I'll see you in the next episode and have a good week. Goodbye.